so hi guys um it's good day again um i'm in my house this is my house where well, hopefully it'll get better lighting than my room which is dark um and i'm just gonna do a very basic everyday makeup for you um i'm gonna start with my foundation max studio sculpt in nc42 um i actually don't need a lot of foundation only about that much. Size a very very small pea. Um, and I'm just gonna apply that all over my face with my fingers. Um, now I recently got like acne, so just forgot my little scar. I know it just popped up overnight. I'm gonna try and blend over that. God, it hurts. Um. not gonna fully cover it like that it's like a giant thing you can still see it mostly because um, I'm not really building up coverage in this one so see some even to even out the skin tone I mean ideally I'd say don't go ever any open like wounds with it or things that just need to like you know scab over like my dad's that's it but Things like that, if you're going out and you need to wear makeup, should be covered. That's the point of doing your makeup, isn't it? Just even up your skin tone a little bit. Something in your upper lip area. Get in. I'm working my fingers partly because they eat up a little less product than doing this with a brush. And because um, studio sculpt just naturally applies a lot better, in my opinion, with the fingers than you know, if you use um, a foundation brush. You can take it over your eyelids and. Um, sorry, I need a little bit extra. And you can, you know, under your eyes, just to even out your skin for a little bit. Um, now we're going to take a little bit more and just dab that over my um, spot. Spot the wound. I don't know, it's disgusting and really kind of gross. So if I look down, I have like my mirror here just to make sure I've covered it completely. Don't have a little patch of foundation there. No, I'm pretty sure it's fine. I'm gonna end up covering. Because you don't wanna cake it on too much or you'll probably just, you know, stifle it and it will break out more. So, that's done. Your skin tones even out. You look a lot fresher, a lot healthier. Um, now I'm actually going to um, wait for my foundation to set a little. And I'm going to use my mascara. Recently, I've been loving Essence All Eyes on Me mascara in the color number three, Deep Purple. Um, now I've said before, I think you can get this in Singapore. It's quite cheap, something like four eighty. And considering that um you can get drugstore mascaras like Rimo for like fourteen dollars and this works pretty much just as well as they do. Ow 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 he's gonna stab myself in the air. Take why'd you have to meow? Sorry it's my cat. Oh god. Note to self, do not film again when there is cats present and you can stab yourself in the eye with a mascara wound due to being <sighs> startled by them. Clean up most of the unfortunate mishap. No thanks to you. Um, and we're just gonna do my other eye. Now it's blue, as you can see, but and it goes on slightly navy. 
but give it enough time and it will dry to black or really dark blue. I mean, I don't have blonde lashes, so I can't tell if it's still blue. But I mean, on my black eyelashes, it looks, you know, black after a while. Like, for example, you put it on the morning, right? In the morning, it will still be kind of blue. But by the time, I mean, you get home from school, for me, that's, I don't know, takes about six hours, I think. My school lasts for six hours, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, your mascara should be, for me at least, for all purposes, black. It's gonna clean out some mess that I made. I have no idea why I'm so messy with my mascara today. I can normally apply it without this happening. Okay, and that just opens up your eyes, makes you look a lot fresher, a lot more awake, and stuff like that. Because let's face it, the morning, it's all most of us want to look, you know, fresh, awake, you know, like we actually slept at night, and, you know, didn't spend the entire night looking at YouTube videos. But yeah, that's the way it is. Okay, and I'm actually going to take my blush, which is Kors Ziamay's Powder Blush, the color is 47 Orange Brown. Um, I really like this brush, this blush. blush. And, um, I don't use it as often as I should. I mean, I use it a lot in the beginning. But, you know. Moved on to other obsessions. I'm actually going to use this, a flat top buffer brush. I would ideally use an angled kabuki brush with this one. Because, um, that tends to pick up color and deposit very naturally. If you're going to use this, my tip is, make sure the bristle, bristles aren't, like, all packed together. Just know a little bit in your hand. And just very lightly touch it to it. You don't want to bang it in, or bam, bang, bang, because it left a lot of powder. See, you have like a very little bit of color on your brush. I don't think you can see that on this. In the angle, yeah, you can see that angled. A little bit of color on your brush. And you just basically dab it on your cheekbones and smile, and like, you know, just blend it upwards. I'm actually going to, you know, circle a couple of times. As you can see already, it just gives me this nice, healthy flush slash glow. And it, it looks amazing, very natural, very pretty. So pretty, do you only want about that much on your brush, you know? Not a lot of colour. So, you know, dot that on to get even colour. Because um, if I, for example, would sweep just from the beginning, I'd get a lot of colour deposited here. Not a lot of colour everywhere else. Then I would look like a little clown. Okay, now my tip is you probably have a little bit of extra color in your brush. A very, very little bit. You can't even see it in the camera. And I would say you take that on the bridge of your nose and um, on your chin, on, on your forehead, you know, just to give you a little bit of the same glow all over. So your cheeks won't look like very stark and very colored in. Again, you know, blend, 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 blend. Blend is the essence to any natural makeup. So that. Um, I get that my dark eye circles seem really quite extreme on this camera. They're really not in real life. As extreme. As extreme. It's still quite extreme, but not as bad as they look. I'm actually going to take my eyeshadow palette, which I think my sister has been using. I need to kill her, so... And, um, I'm actually going to take a dab of this color. It's a matte sort of bisque shade. Very light tan. I'll swatch it for you. My finger. Yeah, it's a very light tan color. Right. See, it blends in really well. You can barely even see it. Just slightly lighter than my skin tone. Um, and I'm going to take that on my finger because I'm being lazy. I'm just going to pop that all over my eyelid. Yeah, you can see now the color, right? It's a very tan color. It's kind of close to my skin tone. That's really nice. It just helps even out the color on my eyes a little bit more. We take that off the other eye as well. Okay. 
We might as well put some in the inner corners because that's where it can get really dark. Um, yeah. Next thing we're gonna do is take this shade right here. It's kind of like a bit like the shimmery equivalent of that shade. Um, swatch. Be like that. Yeah. See, it's a very nice color. It's um sort of a brown champagne. Get that little dab on the back of my hand. As you can see that color. It's very very pretty. And you see if you angle it somewhere, it nearly disappears. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on my finger and dab that into the center of my eye and blend that out a little bit. You can also take it underneath my brows to give me a little bit of a lift. And we're also going to take it right into my inner corner of the eyes where your tear ducts are. Don't put it in your tear ducts, inside your eye, because that would probably hurt like hell. Um, and basically that's it. I mean, I think later on I'll may I might do a very very natural look, like a no makeup look, like the kind I wear every day. Um, but that's just actually this look, but just foundation and mascara. If you want to take it to the next level, I'm going to use this. It's my NARS Mayflower lipstick. It looks really dark in the tube, but I mean, if you swatch it, it's just quite a sheer, pretty guava pinky color. Yeah. And let's put that on my lips. Give me like a little bit more awake. So that's actually it. Um, I have to go out now and pick up my sister and my mum, but see, it's a very natural, very pretty, very glowy look. Um, so in my Perfect Imperfections video, I was talking about how my hair is curly and how you couldn't really see it because my hair wasn't like just recently washed. Um, and I just have recently washed my hair like this morning, so I'll show it to you. Not this morning, it took me like two hours ago. Um. It gets like that, really curly. Okay, so, hope you enjoy the video. Bye!